Hillsborough Community College opened their doors at the Dale Mabry campus this Saturday, but not for classes, instead to provide a platform for new entrepreneurs. This is the HCC Arts and Innovation Summer Market, where a few local entrepreneurs from HCC, they're displaying all of our goods and services to the general public. Trevor Hickman is a business student at HCC. His product, something better to keep your hat and sunglasses in place. I innovated the solution with the snapback for eyewear retention because a snapback has actually been the most adjustable and most fashionable accessory. The cool thing about Scalp is not only is it a good eyewear retention source, but it's about safety. This Saturday market is part of ACC's in-house program. Here, ACC entrepreneurs are able to showcase and sell their products. InLab is a partnership with HCC promoted by Professor Dr. Andy Gold and Professor Beth Curley, where we focus a lot on entrepreneurship and accreditation. Everything from puzzles to artwork to jewelry, candles, and even slime. I make slime. I have different types that I make each time I sell somewhere. The ideas of these ACC entrepreneurs are endless and each have a story of their own. I just met uh, uh, someone who uh, makes slime. She's an eighth grader and a student at HCC. And so I, it was a really cool project to see. I never knew uh, much about slime, so I learned a lot. 13 year old Sovi Girankova is an ACC student and budding entrepreneur. It's a very good sensory tool. It's fun to play with. It actually, studies have shown that it helps uh, focus and relaxation. This summer market is just one event hosted by HCC's InLab, encouraging innovation, creativity, and social venturing among HCC students. The hope of HCC's business professors is to give these young entrepreneurs a boost of confidence and create a safe space to jumpstart their careers. HCC has really kept me motivated, um, small events like this and other contact with my professors. Reporting from HCC's Dale Mabry campus, Dominique Almazan, Hawk TV News.